As we continue to adjust to the ever-changing world during the COVID pandemic, one constant is our unwavering commitment to foster a safe environment for our Millersville University campus community. As a reminder, face coverings in conjunction with proper hand washing and social distancing is a recommended measure for slowing the spread of coronavirus. Employees, students, visitors, and contractors must wear masks in public areas of campus. Face coverings are not required when outdoors and able to consistently maintain a distance of six feet from others, as well as when a student is in a room of the residence hall or an employee is in a private office alone. Please refer to MU's COVID-19 Health and Safety Plan found on millersville.edu for more information. Although university employees and students will be provided with a face mask, personal face coverings may be worn as well. There are several options for face coverings, including over-the-counter disposable paper masks, cloth masks, surgical and N95 masks, and face shields. The World Health Organization provides guidance on cloth masks, recommending that for maximum effectiveness, they be made of at least three layers that include an inner layer of absorbent material, such as cotton, a middle layer filter, and an outer layer of non-absorbent material like polyester. Other research exists on the various options available. We encourage you to select a covering that provides the least potential for exposure while providing the greatest comfort to you. Keep in mind that the CDC discourages the use of surgical and N95 masks by anyone not in the healthcare or emergency responder profession. This, of course, is designed to reserve supplies for those professionals at a greater risk for exposure to the virus. Masks with exhalation valves allow air to be exhaled through a hole in the material, which can therefore spread expelled COVID droplets. And studies show that face shields are not as effective at containing droplets as masks. Selecting a face covering that's right for you is only a beginning in the fight to slow the spread of coronavirus. When applying a face mask, you should begin with sanitizing your hands before touching the mask. Handling the mask by the ear loops, position the mask so that it covers both your nose and your mouth. Not this, and not this. You can generally secure this position by making sure the mask rests under your chin. While wearing your mask, refrain from touching it or your face as much as possible. If you do, because let's face it, the fabric or paper can cause itching and sometimes you need to reposition it for effectiveness, remember to sanitize your hands. Once again, when removing your mask, touch only the ear loops and fold outside corners together. Store in a clean paper bag or a breathable container. Do not seal it in a plastic bag, as doing so may promote growth of bacteria. After each use, include the mask with your regular laundry, using the highest heat setting tolerable for the fabric used to make it. In addition to showing professionalism and compassion during this unusual time, we must also serve our inclusive value. There may be valid physical and mental health reasons that prevent this measure. Our role as a member of Millersville's EPIC community is to compassionately explore opportunities for maintaining a safe space while allowing others to preserve comfort and dignity. Strategies to accomplish just that include using social masks to allow visible communication and facial messaging, utilize writing tools to aid communication when auditory ability is challenged, and as always, maintain six feet or more of social distancing between yourself and others, especially if the other person is not wearing a mask. In short, wearing a mask isn't easy. It is, however, a small ask for the potential of saving a life. So mask up, marauders. We've got work to do.